You know, there, there have been times over the past week on the air where, because you're trying you know, to be a real person, doing your show and experiencing what's happening on the ground in the interviews that you've been doing that, you know, you, you know there were a few times where I felt like I saw some real strain um, yeah. show. And can you talk about, you know, were there moments that were just particularly, you're just like, how am I, how am I gonna get through this? Um, well, one that I remember had nothing to do with the Israeli um, uh, Hamas conflict. It, it was when we were reporting on what happened in Lewiston, Maine, and we found out that the guy had been like involuntarily committed. And it was just like, because this has been something since, um, since I've been covering uh, uh, gun atrocities in this country, mass, gun, mass shootings, and it's become very clear that uh, they're not gonna, that the Congress is not going to um, revert to what gun laws were like in the 90s that there does seem to be the one area where there might be some uh, action would be if you look at, okay, so this is gun owners. I'm, I'm doing a Venn diagram here, if you can work with me. <laughs> so this is gun owners, okay, and they're not gonna, like, no one's gonna eliminate gun owners in this country. And this is people with mental illness, and obviously most of them are not a threat to themselves or others, um, but some of them are. And then this is where they intersect. And this area right here where there are gun owners who are, have severe mental illness is an area that maybe Congress would be willing to act. Like you'd be like, maybe if you have severe mental illness, you shouldn't have a gun. Or at least, you know, maybe Congress should be like, look into it. Because <laughs> that seems to be a problem area, right? right? Like, I mean, and there are red flag laws, or yellow flag laws, is which they have in Maine. Um, but it's like that scene in Seinfeld where he's uh, he's trying to get a rental car, and he and he uh, and and he got he took a reservation, and she said, and he said, like I you know I had a reservation, and she said, I know, and he goes, I don't think you do. <laughs> you know how to uh, take a reservation. You just don't know how to hold a reservation. Yeah. And it's like they don't know, they have the red flag laws, but they don't know how to do anything about the red flag. Like, okay, this guy has, was committed, and you don't know how to wave the red flag, right. which is what happened in Maine, and now there are 18 people who were killed. Anyway, that's when I was just like, ugh. Like I felt like the life sapping from my body on air.